very well. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the issuance of shares and the calculation and entries regarding the issuance of shares and the theory about it. So stay tuned and watch the whole video so that you may come to know about the whole topic. Okay, so before going to the entries, first we have to know about the theory. Theory regarding uh, the shares. So we all know that there are three types of business ownerships. Number one is sole proprietor, the other one is partnership, and the third one is joint stock company. Now, for the time being, we just want to discuss about the capitals which are involved in different types of businesses. So we have studied so far the sole proprietorship of Hanley. So here we just use the word capital for the investment of the owner. Then the partnership. So we record partners' capital as the investment of the partners. Then joint stock company. Here, joint stock company is the company where the public subscribe via shares into the company and they invest. So we record it by the name of share capital where all the investment made by the owners is pulled into one account and that is share capital. Now let us know more theory about this and then we will move forward to the entries. Okay, so these are the parts of equities. Equity has five parts. So uh, in ordinary businesses and sole proprietorship and partnership, we have the, the idea that uh, we work just by one name, equity, uh, just by one name and that is capital. But here, equity has five parts. Number one is share capital, then share premium, share discount, retained earning and reserves. So where is share capital? Share capital, we have discussed before that it is the account where the uh, investment of all the shareholders is pooled. And then sh share premium. What does it mean by share premium? Share premium means if the share is sold more than its par value. Share has par value of 10 in normal cases. So if the share is traded more than the par value means rupees 10. So the rest of the amount which exceeds rupees 10 that shall be pulled into the share premium account. Then share discount. Share discount means that when the share is sold less than the par value which is 10 then the balance or the difference amount shall be pulled into the share discount. Then retained earning. Retained earning means the earning which is retained by the company for all other purposes which are left over after the distribution. So from income you distribute the dividend, you give you pay the taxes and you pay the dividends, other dividends as well. Then whatever amount is left over, you just keep it, the company just keep it for other purposes. So that is retained earning. And then reserves. Reserves means the amount which is saved or stopped for a specific purpose. So in entries you will see that uh, we have uh, created many of the reserves and then it will get more clear. Now let us move to the other ones. So before starting the entries, you just have to come to know that issuance of shares is made in three ways. Now what are those three ways? Well, number one, cash or bank. That is a normal situation. Then against purchase of any asset and against settlement of any liabilities. So we can, the company can issue the shares in against these three things. So now these will be involved in the entries and let us see about how to pass the entries. Okay, so we have the entries and uh, the number one entry. Just come to know that we are going to pass the entry by the same general rules which we have applied in the entries before. So here the company has issued 1000 shares at 10. So at par value. So the cash has been inflowed to the company and shall be written on the debit side. And in ordinary cases, in sole proprietorship and partnership, we credit the capital account. But here we will credit the share capital account because the shareholder has made the investment. 
And here we will write 10,000 as well. So the narration shall be to record the issuance of shares for a cash and par. Now let's move to the second entry. Okay, so on number two, we have the entry that uh, the shares are issued more than the par value. Now, we have studied this before that the share premium account is involved whenever the shares are issued more than the par value. So, here the shares are issued at 15, and obviously it is more than the par value and uh, 5 rupees more. So, here we have received 15 rupees for 1000 shares, 1000 per share, and 1000 into 15, we have 15,000 in our bank account as we have issued the shares for cash. Then, share capital shall always be credited by the par value. So we are multiplying 10 with 1000. So we have 10,000 as per the share capital. Then the share premium account is credited by the amount exceeding the par value. So this 1000 will be multiplied by 5 and it shall be 5000. So to recall the issuance of shares for cash at the market value which is more than the par value. Now let's move to the third one. Okay now we have Entry number 3 that the shares are issued at the market value but less than the par value. So here we will, we have received 8 for per share. So we have received the amount for 1000 shares as per 8 per share, 8000. And we have credited share capital with 1000 into 10, 10,000 but here the equity will be decreased because the share is issued less than the power value and it will be called share discount. We have studied this before as well that whenever the share is issued less than the power value, so the difference amount shall be the power of the share discount. And here the equity is being decreased, therefore the share discount will be debited by 1000 into 2, 2000. So here 10,000 and 10,000, the entry is same as for the amount of debit and credit. Now let's move to the entry number third, fourth. Okay, so on number four we have the entry that we have purchased an asset. The company has purchased an asset and issued the shares against it. And the asset cost was 360,000. And we have issued the shares at a premium of rupees 12. So, what we will do, first we have to uh, calculate the number of shares. How to calculate the number of shares? That is 36,000 divided by 12. Now, we have the number of shares of 30,000 and we will debit the asset with the same value of 360,000. Then, we know that share capital is credited by the par value only. So, here we have 30,000 number of shares multiplied by 10 and we have 300,000 and then we have got the number of shares and share premium is credited by the amount exceeds the par value. So here the amount of the share was 12 and it is 2 per share increased. So 30,000 multiplied by 2 that will be 60,000. So I shall write the narration to record issuance of shares against asset. Now let us move to the entry number 5. So on number 5, we have the entry that we have settled the liability by issuing the number of shares. So the liability amount, so amount was 360,000 and amount of per share is 12. So all we have to do is to know that how many number of shares were issued. So we will divide this 360,000 by 12. So we have number of shares of 30,000 and by multiplying this with 10, we have 300,000 in share capital account because it is credited by the par value only. Then, share premium. It is credited by the amount exceeding the par value, that is 2. So we have number of shares 30,000 multiplying it by 2, we have 60,000. And we should write the duration to record issues of shares against settlement of a liability. Okay, so that was all for today's video. I shall see you into the next video with the continuation of the same topic. Till then, take care of yourself. Good luck.